you know, I grew up mostly on the edge of Sandusky and Perkins Township, and so I had some exposure to the city. But I remember being a kid, and there was a comic book store that was on Columbus Avenue, and I loved comic books. And I would put on a backpack as soon as I was old enough, and my parents would let me, and I'd walk from my subdivision to this comic book store on the weekends in downtown Sandusky, and you could feel the city change as you passed through it, as you crossed over Perkins Ave, and you started to see the older, more stately places on Columbus Avenue, and you saw that transition into 19th century architecture. And I didn't know then that I was being exposed for the first time to something that would become my vocation, but I always had a sense that I loved unique and authentic places. 2020 was going to be this amazing year of celebration in Sandusky. We were opening our new pier and waterfront in downtown Sandusky. We had a year's worth of programming planned for that. The two new elementary schools were going to be debuted by Sandusky City Schools this fall. We were opening a new college campus in downtown Sandusky and Cedar Point was celebrating its 150th birthday and had all kinds of celebrations planned for that. We didn't get to do that this year because COVID-19 took that away from us. I know the entire country and world have been impacted by this, but on a per capita basis, Sandusky is one of the hardest hit cities in the country because we're a community that depends on over 10 million people a year visiting, going to Cedar Point and getting on ferries and going to the islands. And we haven't been able to do nearly as much of that this year because we've had to focus on making sure that first and foremost, we're keeping people safe. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we're anticipating that we'll lose $7 million or well over a quarter of our budget this year and that we're likely facing a deficit next year of at least $4 million. That is a huge impact on a city of our size. Because of that, we've had to make really difficult choices. And the good news is so many of our partners have stayed calm. I see Fire and Regional Medical Center doing what they need to do. I see Cedar Point working really hard to make sure that their guests can stay safe as they reopen. We're very thankful that they are reopened now. And we're hoping that even as we see cases continue to spike throughout Ohio, that we're going to be able to, in Sandusky, continue to act responsibly so that we can continue to welcome visitors to our area and boost up that local economy. But this has been the biggest test financially that I have faced in you know, over 15 years of municipal government leadership. I know our city commission is doing what they can to give us the tools that we need to be successful, but ultimately we're gonna to have to make some really tough choices to make sure that coming out of COVID-19, we haven't torn down everything that made our success possible over the last five years. Sandusky has a chance to be at the forefront of this movement back to cities by people who appreciate diversity, by people who appreciate local culture, by people who want to see historic properties get saved instead of being torn down. And I think one of the most important things that we have to do, we have to take the resiliency that we built up during this period, the momentum, the improved reputation regionally and on a statewide basis that Sandusky has, and continue to build on that as we get through COVID. And I know that we're gonna be able to do that, but we can't take it for granted.